if if that is John uh, John one when you read from one, mm -hmm. John chapter one verse one. Yes. Let us understand that God is the word. Mm -hmm. So if God is our Father, that means that when we were created from the beginning, we are also a word. Yes. That's the spirit. He said, he said, in the beginning was the word, and the word dwelt among men. And became flesh. So before he became flesh, it was spirit. So you get it? So you are okay. Good. With the clap of him for that question. Yes. Next question there. Uh, you do want to ask? Okay, okay well, go ahead. My question is, uh, the intention of God, yeah. the word of God, yes. are they the same? Yes. An intention comes before a word proceeds. An intention is the idea. And the word is the vehicle that carries the idea. Now look at the intention I have. If I didn't talk, you wouldn't know. So God's intention is what became the word Christ. So Christ became the vehicle to carry God's intention around the world. Yes, those of you who are here, you want to contribute your support to the Hall payment, the offering bowls are going around. You can do that. Let's spend some time and do that. In fact, today we are happy today because we have our new phone. We have invested up to 7,500 to get this phone. This iPhone, what? 13. How we suffered to get to this place. <laughs> it's not easy at all. So those of you are abroad, you see what we are doing with your supports. Before we couldn't get this. And I couldn't remove 7,500 and go buy this. We have, we, Dasha made us buy uh, in 2005. Then we were upgrading it. Then we were going ah, then they will change it for us. Then we got, then we got here. But this one, if you go to buy it direct, it will cost how much? 23,000. So can you imagine? If you want to buy store from brand new, 23,000. So this one that we are using will make the quality of our videos better. So watch and see the new post. You see it. See that it's clear. Now we are left with mic. The kind of mic we need. Hey, if you hear the money, eh? <laughs> it's even more than them. Wow. That's why we have carried the speaker to come and put here. Can you imagine? So we need support. Need support. May the Lord open your financial doors. Amen. May the Lord favor you wherever you are. The moment you have the mind to support this wedding call, may God favor you and open doors Amen. for you to get money to support this work. Yes, next question. Yes. Yeah, bro, we are talking about spirituality. Yes. And you have been disconnected from God. Exactly. I want to know how can you to is it true knowledge or true fasting? perfectly through the teachings that we have told you the kingdom of God has citizenship and when you want to be a citizen Jesus said the kingdom is like the prodigal son so you go and study the prodigal son you see that the Bible said he came to himself to come to yourself is to come to the realization to know that, no, I have left God. I have left home. I must go back to God. I must go back home. That's what the prodigal son did. And that is the true salvation. It's not what Christianity told you. So if you want to get connected back so that you now grow your spirituality, you need to start from the prodigal son. You can also start from the born again with Nicodemus. But that place is difficult. Why? Jesus said, if you are born again, you can only see the kingdom. You can't enter. But I'll, I'll take you what to enter. Yes. And Jesus said, for you to enter, you need to be born of water and of the spirit. John 3, 5, and 6. To be born of water means you need to learn the Bible, the word, like I have done. How many of you can do that? Then the word will wash you and change you into the spirit. As in love with Ezekiel 36, 25 to 28. But the prodigal son, as an expert that has taken, I saw that the prodigal son is easier and better. 
Because the prodigal son is simple because think of yourself. Sometimes you get up from the hall, you are watching TV, and you want to go to the washroom. And you find yourself in the kitchen. You are forgotten. You see that you stand in the kitchen. Ah, why did I come here today? Ah, why did I come here today? Then you realize that, no, I was going to the washroom. You have come to yourself. Then you go to the washroom. That is how to come to yourself. To realize that I'm in the wrong place. Then you go to the right place. Until a man realizes that he or she is in the wrong place, she can never or he can never go to the right place. Eko si se ni pape mu se, e kwa na mi na msu no ma ira, on ti mi hu kwa na, obi ti mi ya botu mi biya okon. En ti ira hu, na hu se, e sa hu nu hu, e sa hu ba wu ni so, na hu nsa en ko era din chen, e nu na ye, e hu kwa ji, e nye ni ya ka wa Yesu Christo, e wa hu me jidi se wa hu, a a jibin kwa, hu jidi o hu jidi o Yesu wa hu, obi jidi pa mwa. That is not the basis for your salvation. But what is your basis is you coming back. Entina Yesu anti mia ni na obi su su an kacha nse eh be hu be fa mu be ma Yesu. Oni abi da. Jesu o ka asem na o ko. O pa na wa fa o pa chai. Adenti nipa e pe e won nsa. Ono an pe e won nsa. Ni o pe na o ye ntimi fo so. In the same nipa, ne nipa ne so, no one say, baby I'm a one, any baby I'm a me pet. In the meantime, coffee baby I'm me fino. And no one a quenchy. Amen. Yes. Uh, my second question. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to know, for instance, um, a man and a woman have given birth. They they have a child. Yeah. And is it that they are spread over? Covers that of their children or whatever it is. Is it their spirit cover? Uh, because a child, maybe two, three years, doesn't have any spiritual background. So I want to know if the father or the mother spirit cover that, that, that of the child. The father and the mother whose spirit has been disconnected, how can it cover them, the child, when it can't even cover it themselves? So does it mean that? Okay. So, so you have to disconnect yourself back as the father. And you can cover your child. Or the mother connects herself back. Then she can cover her child. That's why I told you somebody can be at his workplace. If something is going to happen to his child, he will realize it. Because the spirit in you will see it and tell you. And your spirit will tell you because you have to give instruction. Then the spirit will do action. It's like it's foundation. If the foundation is... Yes, yes, it's like foundation. If the foundation is not correct, it cannot touch your child. It can't help your child. It's you who has to be correct. Yes, next. Yeah, Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Prophet, his first question. He said that like, uh, to be able to make your spirit grow or become powerful, mm -hmm. you have to pass or get knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, what is the use of your fast? That is what religious Christianity is doing. You can chill on 40 days, 100 days. It's useless fast. It's useless. Because, number one, God doesn't know you. So who are you fasting for? Satan? Okay, fine. Maybe you are fasting for Satan. But I believe every child of God wants to fast to God. Two of us. But God says, I don't know you. Is that uh, uh, Matthew 7, 21, 22, 23. He said, not all who say, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom. Many shall come and say, Lord, did we not use your name to raise the dead, to heal the sick? He will say, yes, but go away, you workers of iniquity. I don't know you. Look at the word he used there. You workers of what? Iniquity. The word iniquity is what reveals to you rebellion. So you ask yourself, ah, when did I rebel? then it will take you to Garden of Eden. Because man rebel only once, through Adam. Then you say, ah, my great-grandfather Adam rebelled, so it has affected me. Okay, rebel means what? Go away. So to solve it is to come back. Reconnect. So to come back is come to yourself. The prodigal son, simple. Then you can now 
Come back before you start to fast. Now, look at Christians. They have fasted all this time. What has happened? You were, were you not there before? Yeah. All the fast, what happened to you? Yeah. Nothing. Even the fasting cannot even let them see kingdom. They cannot even realize kingdom. So where will it take you to? Zero. So you need to get knowledge and the right knowledge. Not real knowledge. Though. Religious knowledge is bogus knowledge. Can you imagine religious knowledge? We are going to heaven. Huh. Do you know this is the most useless knowledge? Because you came from heaven. Ah, you are seated here. What is the big deal about you going home? Is there any big deal? Because you came from home. Whether we close or not, you will go home. Whether we suck you to go home or not, you will go home. Whether we ask you, will you go home or not, you will go home. So it is no big deal. What is the big deal? You are coming here. So the big deal is about what we do on earth. That is the big deal, not going to heaven. Because we came from heaven. There's no big deal in it. And God is not as if he wants you to come to heaven. Oh, no. If God wanted you to come to heaven, Jesus will not pray a prayer and say, Father, I pray that you do not take them out of this world, but that you will protect them here. Why? There is mission for you. So if Jesus is praying that Father God should be protect you here and you are praying that Father God I want to be taken out of here whose prayer will they hear no answer whose prayer so you are wasting your time praying and it's lack of knowledge so we have correct knowledge and we have useless religious knowledge because religion does not examine its knowledge they just do Yes, look at these people. They are going to heaven. Oh, yeah, cause why be? And you have 90 gold too. Meanwhile, in heaven, you don't have less. So how are you going to work on the gold? Baby, I own corner. Who need nine? And the gold, no better than our nine too also. So, oh, useless knowledge. I'm going to say heaven, but I don't need You don't have body. You don't have body. That's why Satan is not interested in your body because it will rot. You will leave it here. Your body belongs to this earth and no place. No place. So what you should be working on is your spirit and your soul. So you see, proper knowledge. When we talk about knowledge, we are not talking about religious Christian knowledge. No, I had it. I left it because it's useless. If you don't leave it, it will shock you where it will land you. Of course, in the spirit world, there's a place for Christians. They will be there. In the spirit world, there is a place for all religions, different, different groups. According to what you do on earth, that is what will demarcate your place. Yes, that's how the spirit world is. Okay, back to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he said spiritual. Uh, Doctor House once said that uh, spirituality or the spiritual world or heaven here, yeah, the spiritual is much more real than this. Yes. Yeah, and just now you also said that it's more than even virtual reality. Mm -hmm. So I want to understand like how real, like if it is real than. Now, now when you talk about it's much real. You are not talking about your thinking of reality. You are talking about how powerful it is. That's the secret. That's what it means by it's more rare. Because in spirit, things happen in the spirit before they happen in the physical. So you see how powerful it is. So that is what is meant by it's more rare. So that when you are spiritual, People will be planning evil against you, and you will get to know. And then when you get up, you will see them, and you call them, and you do good to them. And they will say, ah. They don't go to be talking. You have finished them. <laughs> that is the reality of spirituality. So, bro, please. Does it uh, kind of like, uh, is it like a dream? <laughs> you want to feel it, eh? 
Yeah, is it like a dream? Like how you dream? Is yeah. that how it is? Good. You have answered yourself. When you go into dreams, you are going into the spirit world. That is why in dream you see everything real. That's why sometimes when you get up, you wonder, ah, but where are they? Where is the car I was driving? You see, because it's real. But it's in the spirit. So you see, you have answered yourself. So that's how it works. That's how it works. Okay, next question. Because I understand you. You want to feel the thing. You want to know how it feels like. And you answered it. That's how it works. Bro, yes. Uh -huh. Papa and I, back to the son. The son in the Kuma Baba who buy me chain. They won't want such a sacral over the new body. It's a colossal stone. That's still the spirit in a such a sacral over the city of the baby. Okay. Papa Puma for the three times made the new one for the other. Before the baby come up, come up, they will say, A colossal Santa Oh. So easy. It's in the book of the book of the family. Tell me what for their banner. The father and I was so many banners at their time. I don't believe me. I'm not the spirit to catch them, they say. Make one of my men or so. Make one of the second mistake. Go be in the future, train you, go be in the future, and dance here, brother. The poor man says, now, give up a good day for you. My men are the poor man, I'm not the same. I'm a good man. They can't tell what the bomb was so much for Bano, more the other blasted the balance. I won't tell you the year I did if you, I did not want to share the balance. Oh, I did not buy it. I'm so why you did be in the Tama town. The spirit in the Saka Jams and people for the young Tanaso, people for the young Tanaso. And the big German, the Kuma and the big German. Oh, and I did a step in, and I did a step. I think. And you best is that in me, but who team fifty is there? Will be a original card, so one will blow when you are not overboard. And I'm a spirit to thank you, say yes, we are the end. In Timmy call me, my men of the chain was from the corner, my men didn't call my big people. She said, I'm not going to stand on my own. I said, Oh, yeah, I have no pity, and I have no pity. Can you imagine? I'm going to get you out. Did you see how it is? That's the reality of spirituality. Lift a clap of it. So work hard to build your spirit. But first, connect back. How do you connect back? Prodigal son, come to yourself. Realize that I know what prophet is saying. I also want to be like that. What Madame has said, I also want to be like that. That is realization. Then you will be interested, and your interest, which is the desire, will release your free will to return. It is your free will that has taken you away. Until you surrender your free will, you cannot return. That's how return happens. That's why you must come to yourself. Your coming to yourself is what makes your free will discanceled or discontinued. Because you went out of free will and back, you must come. You must come back with free will. Amen. Amen. In order one. And I'm not going to say, yeah, but you give my dear figure and say, yeah, but you. I don't understand. Ah, ha, but you're not going to say, yeah.
Amen. Do you remember he said that God revealed we should pray? You see things that have started, more is going to happen. Yeah. Oh, amen. 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 It will happen. And in there, Pijamsa Eradi, Gana Sika, Bibia Possebia, Wamuama Pia Pobibia, Wamufi, Cecia, 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 vomit, vomit, every region of the country. Whoever has swallowed it, according to God's word, they have swallowed riches. And he will cause them to vomit it. Vomit it. Vomit it. Whoever you are, in Jesus' mighty name, lift the clap of it. When you pray, you must remember. You see that she remembered to come and tell you. Nobody remembered. <laughs> Things have started to happen. More is going to happen. Don't worry at all. Amen. Yes, next question. If there is any, yes. Bro, yes. You said uh, every country or every nation has an angel. Yes, yes. Now, I, uh, there was one man, I once heard uh, from one man, mm -hmm. he used to smuggle cocaine to the US and the um, southern part of America. And okay. He got one. So he was telling about um, um, sharing his experience and what he went through. He said that uh, there's this country in Africa, Cape Verde, mm -hmm. you can't smuggle coca drugs or illegal drugs into the country. Okay. Like you get caught yeah. like yeah, yeah. Even before you get to the country. And also spiritually, you can't take any maybe you have you have maybe some spiritual people, spiritual power here. Yeah, you have taken you have gone to some priest here, yeah, you, you have gone you have gone to take something like you want to take to the country. You can enter the country alright, but you can't use it. It can't work. It can't work. So um Maybe from what you were saying that every country or every nation has an angel, mm -hmm. it could be that maybe it is because of the angel that is uh, that has control over the country mm -hmm. that is preventing that from happening. Exactly. Now, Ghana, the way the country is, our government is being corrupt. Mm -hmm. So much evil going on. We have. We also have an angel. Yes. So, is it... What do we do? Yes. Is it even controlling the country? Like Very perfect question. Let me tell you. That is why Haiti is suffering today. Because their ancestors decided to make a covenant with the devil. Ghana is the same thing. Yes. Our name used to be Gold Coast. And some people too know, change the name. But the secret Ghanaians don't know is that a covenant was made in some place in between Fantijaro Mountains. That's where the name was given to us. So until we break that covenant, we have decided what we want. That's why we are struggling. So it's not small work. But when they school, they told us we left Ghana as a nation. Uh, in Jesus. They told us Ghana means God has appointed a group of <laughs> That's somebody's useless mind. Go ahead and do your history. The word Ghana came from ancient Ghana Empire, which collapsed. See? The empire collapsed. Even though it was the richest in the world, it collapsed. Because the name is coming from a different source. The name Ghana comes from ancient Arabic name Gihana or Gahaina. And Gihaina means hair. Gahaina means boa, rubbish down. And the Bible says, ask your name, so you be. I'll finish. <laughs> so this is the secret behind your name, which we have been working, not today, but it's not easy. One day, I will get money and we will go to Fandidalo Mountains. It's in Mali. In between Mali, Guinea. That's where they want to go the name. So there's a shrine there. We have to go and break the covenant. Because covenant means we agreed. 
That's why Jesus, when Judas agreed 30 shekels of silver, when Judas regretted, he sent the money back. But they said, no, this is the money of blood. They can't use it. So they use it to buy land to bury dead people. Okay? Covenants work and covenants speak. And covenants will operate until another covenant breaks it. That's why we need finance. Are we going to walk to that place? No. We're going to cross more than five borders of nations to get there. Even me, myself, I don't know the place. Now we have to get to the country, do research, and people will tell us. And shrines too, they keep things secret. They will get the secret and know the place and go and break the covenant. So it's not small work. <laughs> Haiti is the same thing. Haiti, they made a covenant with voodoo. Voodoo is in Benin. That's a shrine in Benin. Hmm? So that God in Benin is the one controlling Haiti. That's why every time they are in trouble. Every time. Until that covenant is broken, they cannot be free. Can you imagine when earthquake hit there? The world prayed so many billions, but it didn't happen. Because of what is there? Jesus said the devil is always to kill, to steal, and to destroy. If you go and give yourself, that's it. Anyway. That's by the way. So next question, and we'll close. Any other, any other thing? Yes, so my, okay. my question is mm -hmm. the realization in coming to yourself. Yeah. Is it that uh, realizing that you have fallen or from the mandate that God gave you, mm -hmm. or which actual knowledge? Is no, you realize you that what you have heard, you are not part of it. So I want to be part of what I have heard. That's the realization. Realizing you are falling, you are not Adam. So it is going to be difficult. Your mind cannot comprehend it. But to realize is to hear me say something and let the thing move you. Ah, I want to be like this. I want to be spiritual so that I can know what is happening. Don't you want to be spiritual? Yes. So realize that. You see, the realization is an exercise of the mind. If you are not able to do it, you remain in the bondage of your own stupid mind. That is what Judas could not do. That's why Jesus has to leave him and even told him what he want to do, do it quickly. Because Jesus can see that this guy is not ready to change his mind. So the realization is for you to realize that, ah, this kingdom is a good thing. I want to be part of it. I want to also carry this kingdom. I want to be part of it. I want to do things. That is realization. It will affect your mind. Then desire comes. Desire is what sparks a human being to do something. Desire. And desire can only come when you realize that this thing is good or is bad. If you don't realize, you are not interested. You are not interested. So realization is simply... To realize that, ah, what prophet is saying, they are good things. I want to be part of it. You see, you can be interested in the things I'm saying. And come and sit here. It's different. But to be desire the thing is different. If you desire, it's more than being interested. That's why some people came here and left. They were interested in what I'm saying. And that's all. But what I'm saying cannot hold you. Cannot take you anywhere. But when you desire, desire means what I'm saying, you want to be part of it. What I'm saying, you want to do so. Then desire increases. Then realization affects your mind. And you want to come to yourself. Are you getting something? Yes. yes. So that is how the mind behaves. That's why changing of your mind is difficult. You look at what you are doing that is wrong. If they tell you stop it, it's difficult for you to stop. You have to struggle. Why? You have to get the mind to accept that this thing, I don't want to do it. 
When the mind accepts, you will never do it again. But when the mind doesn't accept, no. You will be doing it. So that is how coming to yourself is. It's very simple, but it's difficult. Because it will be difficult for you to know whether you have come to yourself or you have not come to yourself. It's difficult. But somebody can see. You might not realize it, but somebody can see and know that, ah, this guy now he has changed. Because what I used to know him do, he doesn't do it again. Good. And you yourself, you can see that, ah, I used to spend time to do this. I used to spend money to do this. Nah, don't do those things. And you yourself can see that you have changed. Anyway, you are okay, right? Okay, so we don't have anything so we can close, right? Okay, so let's pray. Uh, today again, somebody has got some breaking meat pie. So when we close, don't go away. Just wait on your seats and you'll be blessed with some bites. So that your mouth will come to itself. Uh, we are talking about your mind to come to itself. Now, it's your mouth that will come to itself. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless the person who has brought it. Father, thank you for this moment. I bless your children. And I pray that, Lord, you will help them to get to themselves and come to themselves. So that this struggle of the world will be easy to be dealt with. If they don't come to themselves, how did they save the world? I commit them going home. I commit their offerings and tithes. Bless them. Open doors this week for them and make them success of the week. Safety I commit in their journey home and new doors and favor. I pray for those abroad that also send their support, that also are part of this mission, protect and guide them, bless them also, and take care of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you for coming.